Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the low budget otaku and uh, my EVA 03 review is a bit delayed I'm waiting for some equipment to do the review properly so maybe next weekend, I hope next weekend but today I'm here to talk to you about um, an issue relating movies and TV series that is whitewashing what the hell is whitewashing? Well, whitewashing is like a stupid concept itself because I don't really think whitewashing is a problem. The problem is miscasting and the problem is watering down of the original material by Hollywood. And it's not about just whitewashing the material. And I'm going to take three examples to try to explain my opinion on this because there are three pieces of work that are being adapted and they are all getting a lot of controversy because of whitewashing and that's Ghost in a Shell, Iron Fist and the Death Note movie. Now I only watched one of these properties yet, it is of course Iron Fist and Iron Fist has nothing to do with whitewashing whatsoever. People are complaining that the main character is being whitewashed but the main character is white on the story and the TV show itself if you watch it and it's an amazing show so watch it don't listen to the negative reviews because most of the negative reviews are being really biased and influenced by this whitewashing claim by a lot of this terrible mentality that people have right now but it's a great show it's not as good as Daredevil and Daredevil 2 for me it's better than Luke Cage and it's better than Jessica Jones People's opinions will differ. It's my personal taste. I preferred Iron Fist than those other two shows. Um, and it has a really diverse cast. Maybe even too diverse because, for example, if I recall the hand from the comics, it's mostly a Japanese organization. Here you have a lot of members from different places and they try to have a good excuse for it. And I have a good excuse for it, but if I had to say like something is not right, something is not faithful, it would be that the hand is a bit too diverse. They still have a lot of Asian people on the hand, so I'm happy with it. But it is kind of differs a bit from the hand that is a, a bit of classic Japanese mafia in the, um, the original story. So yeah, Iron Fist does not have any whitewashing. On the opposite, he has a very diverse cast. So this is completely ridiculous. Like the actor was bullied off Twitter, with people constantly telling him that he's wrong for taking the role of a white guy in the comics. People are just going too far. And then we have Ghost in a Shell. Ghost in a Shell was a bit skeptical at first when they picked Scarlett Johansson. But then I saw her in the costume, and then I rewatched Ghost in the Shell, the original anime movie, and it makes all sense that they could choose her. And the original author is helping with the movie, so if he was not happy with the casting, I think he would uh, say something. I know he's very happy with the cast, it makes all sense, he can even play up with the, a lot of the teams of Ghost in a Shell. So yeah, I don't think this has any whitewashing at all. Again, he has a good diverse cast, a lot of Asian actors in the show playing characters that are supposed to be Asian. We have their synthetic bodies so they can choose whatever ethnicity they want. And it's part of the themes of Ghost in a Shell is you have a brain but you have a complete artificial body. So are you still you? What makes you you? Is it the artificial body? Is it your brain? Is that really your brain? Is the ghost in, really in the shell? It's a lot of those themes that really plays on and allows to have whatever actors they want for the parts. And again, the actors are looking exactly like the anime. They, it's amazing casting, really. Like the story in the movie can end up being bad, but the casting and the look of the movie was spot on. 
So don't give me some bullshit with whitewashing because I don't even think if they casted full Asian people on the rolls, they would have looked as much like Ghost in a Shell as it is looking right now. So I do think Ghost in a Shell again, great casting, nothing to do with whitewashing, nothing to do with miscasting. Death Note on the other hand is a different beast altogether. Death Note is a particular case, like you have a lot of characters that are supposed to be Japanese because the story is, is in Japan. And then you have, besides the nationality of the characters, because for example, L is not Japanese. L is supposed to be British, like a British pale Caucasian kid. But for example, in the Japanese movies, it's played by a Japanese guy. And some other characters are, are not supposed to be Japanese, end up being played by Japanese uh, people too. This is the limitations of where you live. So they end up being limited by the actors they have available in Japan. But in the American version, they are completely translating everything to the West. So they are not keeping, I think, the story. At least for the trailers and for the characters they chose, I don't think they're keeping the story in Japan. And in that case, they need, to, of course, to translate the characters to Western characters. That can be complicated, and but it, if done right, it can work. The problem is, I think they are not doing it right. Because the thing that you cannot change is the personality of the characters themselves. Like, you can change their nationality, but the characters still need to feel like the original characters. And at least for this teaser right now, when I look at Kira, it's not that this white that is pissing me off. Is the fact that he looks like an emo kid while kira should look like a very well-mannered very classy very old school kind of guy like a very intelligent brain you know those, those really kids that you find almost impossible that they exist like very smart very beautiful for when there was a time that they were thinking about that guy from uh, ice cube musical jack something he looked more like kira than the guy that is playing the role right now does so I don't look like his looks. I don't think these looks fit the personality of Kira. So I'm afraid that he's not going to be able to translate the personality of Kira to the screen. And L is even worse. Now, again, L was supposed to be a British guy, very pale because he never goes outside. He's always cooked up in the in his room trying to solve mysteries. So what? It would be really easy to hire somebody who looked British or at least had a British accent, be faithful to the character, have the crazy hair. It wouldn't be that hard. But they went with a black guy? That the only scene that appears in the teaser is like with a hoodie? <sighs> I don't feel it. I don't... I hope I, I'm, I'm mistaken, I hope he surprises me, but I don't see L without the hair, the crazy hair, I don't see L without this like skinny, very pale look, I cannot imagine, I think his personality, L's personality cannot really translate to, to a black person, at least not a, like a black person with the style that we saw in the, on the trailer, like I, I, find that I can imagine, I'm trying to remember like good actors, that could, black actors that could play L, and I can imagine, and I try to remember like good white actors that could play L, and I can remember all like two or three. Like I can remember Johnny Depp, but he's too old. I can remember the guy from Doctor Strange, like Cumberbatch. I don't know, can't remember a lot of other guys, you know, because his look and his feel are very specific and I don't think that's something any actor can do so I'm afraid that L will going to be completely watered down to a completely different personality again ah, this is this is not not going well the only casting choice that I I looked and I was like 
Yeah, that's perfect. Was William Dafoe was Ryuk. Come on, Ryuk is William Dafoe. That casting choice is, is brilliant. Both Kira and Elle, I don't like. I don't like the casting. It's not about their races. It's not about that one is black and the other is white. It's not because they are not Asian. Because, for example, again, Elle is not supposed to be Asian. It was a mistake done by the Japanese movie, by the limitations they have in casting. But it worked because the actor that played Elle in Japanese movies looked exactly like Elle. Regardless, he shouldn't be Asian. But he looked exactly like Elle. And he felt and acted exactly like Elle. So if this kid managed to do a performance that acts like the personality of L, I have no problem with the casting. But again, they cannot change like the way he dresses, they cannot change the way he talks. They have to be like this is the core of Death Note. Is the personalities of these two characters battling it out. If you change that, it is not Death Note. You have like a notebook and you could call it anything else. But without those two type of personality and the clash between them, that's not Death Note. That's my opinion, at least in these situations. You know, I don't think it's whitewashing that is the problem. It's miscasting and sometimes not being faithful to the source material. That is the problem. Well, I hope it was some food for thought. I would love to hear your opinions. And until next time, think about subscribing, liking, check out my figure reviews, my anime talks, my unboxings. I'm unboxing a lot of stuff. I hope uh, I can speed up a little bit more the, um, the system, at least for one review a week, or um, I don't know, one video a week at least. Uh, share if you can to people that you know that love this stuff. Gi uh, give me your opinion and see you guys next time.